scars on my face, on my chest, in my heart. A reminder of something that humbled me so long ago, 15 years ago, actually. Pizza face is what they called me. Dime-sized cysts decorated both cheeks like it was an overdone birthday party. I was 16. I always carried a napkin in my back pocket to clean off any small drops of blood from accidentally burst cysts that happened when I laughed out loud or smiled wide or ate a huge sandwich during lunch break, which, yes, that happened. The embarrassment broke me. Just please look me in the eyes. I would silently plead, hoping to lock in an honest, friendly, non-judging gaze, but instead, they couldn't help but be accidentally hypnotized by the art piece of wild hormones playing circus on my face. Yeah, it sucked. Girls didn't want me. Guys made fun of me. It was this quiet, first world suffering. And it forced me to choose between either an easy depression or self-compassion. And I chose the latter. And my small teenage pain taught me that we all have scars and that most of them go unseen. And stashed away behind the flash and the glam of our life lay hidden our secret scars. Heartbreak, grief, shame, regret, insecurity, pain, anger. And to recognize the silent pain and the secret scars in others was the gift that my uncontrollable acne gave me. And we all have them. And together we're a beautiful mess and our scars connect us. And I started to feel the people around me more than I ever had. And in that moment of discovery, my journey began. A journey that has spanned 15 years of music, failure, success, love, heartbreak, forgiveness. And today I take you on that journey because that which you suffer with the deepest might just one day transform into your greatest gift. To repeat the ignition sequence, we'll start at 8.9 seconds. We'll be looking to lift off at zero. Stage is reporting ready for launch. T minus 20, 19, 18, 17. October 13th, 2018 at 7.20. I had hired a Santa Claus to guard the door Welcome to the art of life of the fake debut. Do you happen to know the magic word? It was Wonka. <laughs> well, come on in. Enjoy. And so the secret fake debut ensued. Sometime. I invited 100 of my closest friends to the Village Recording Studio, downtown LA. Friends, family, people flew in to see a crazy movie that I had spent the last couple years making. People gathered around, my family, everyone was here for the big moment. So as I sat there, I told them that my idea for this movie came from my very first painting. It was vertical, and then my friend looked at it and said, It was like, it has a mustache. <laughs> And so I finished the painting horizontally and I named him Senor. Sometimes I need and so with my family front row, we began. Say 
the words I'm Trying to avoid a fight God damn fight I just don't love you How cool is it? <coughs> no! Leave with your wrist! <laughs> <laughs> so we begin where every boy is when he realizes he's something or can be something. What does he want? He wants to be loved. You know, like, I just wanted to be loved. Don't we all? We just want to be loved. So any boy who is on his way to becoming self-reliant and independent seeks out affection, attention, sex. But, you know, in the pursuing of all this, I started asking myself the question. Was the sex too soon for us? searched and I realized you know sex didn't always mean intimacy and I was after that man and I met her it's a chance encounter it's a chance encounter oh it's a chance and she changed everything.
look at me. Almost there. So here's what happens when you meet a girl that makes you want to man up. Makes you want to stand up. The things a woman does to a man. She lights a man's deepest desire for expression like totally on fire. And it makes a man want to do things. She made me want to be better. I think that's what a great woman does to a man. When a man finally experiences love, even the taste, when I experienced love, that made me want to man up, show her who I could be, show her what I could be show her who I could be for her. You know, that was the first moment I decided <sighs> life wasn't all about me. I think woman, a girl does that to a guy. He showed, she shows him that there's more to the world than just his ambitions and him. I put my hands up. Oh. 
That's good because I also fell, so. <laughs> You're amazing. You're amazing. And so it happens. It occurs. Love. I thought you were trying to do it again, like. I wanted her. She became my purpose. She became my infatuation, my muse, whatever the cliche term you want to use. And I needed her. She completed me. But because I made her my purpose, she, it changed. It changes. And that's when things started to change.
Yeah, the obsession continues. You know, every day, having her every day in my life, there was just something about her that made me come alive. I was a different person with her. I was, I thought different thoughts and I wanted it. I just kind of blurred it. That's, I mean, I really wanted bad. that. Pull on it. I wanted what it could be. I wanted all of it. I wanted to taste it, feel it. I wanted it every day. I wanted who I could be with her. I wanted it, just I wanted it. Never wanted anything like I wanted that, ever. But you know, you know they say too much of a good thing, it turns into a bad thing. It's kind of just all over. Too much dessert will ultimately make you sick. Yeah. Slipping that dress, I don't want to be hitting that spread. You know that I'm into that flesh, and you know that I want it. Oh, you know that I want you every day in my life, and you know that I want you so. Uh, famous painting. Is she smiling? Is she frowning? And this is what happened with her and I. Like we, I did, I couldn't see where she was at. She wouldn't tell me, or I wasn't asking right. She just, there was a disconnect. Like I was, ta like I was talking to the painting of Mona Lisa. I didn't know when she was good and when it was bad, or when I was making a mistake. I just, I was trying. Mona Lisa Are we okay? Mona Lisa 
so I tried and I just had to ask her. I tried to get through. get through to her because I couldn't get through to myself she was my mirror she was showing me everything that I had never faced what do we do you know we get resentful when someone doesn't like us when someone falls out of love I don't want to wait for you I don't want to wait for me I don't want to wait for us I don't wanna wait for me I don't wanna wait for us 
So I had a stint of just being mad. It's, it hurts, right? It's painful when someone stops loving you. Something novel. But you know, something changes when you get past the anger. You just miss when it was good. Just want to wind back time. Could you wind back time? Hey, hey, hey. And you were mine. Hey, hey, hey. We have. We're gonna get here. We're gonna immediately go to our hotel. I will take you, face you, escape with you, baby. I will break us, save us, save you now, baby. I will taste you, quake you, escape with you, baby. I will save you. Yeah, yeah. I feel this I need this I feel you ah, ah, ah. No sorries We'll fix this I'm starving ah, ah, ah. Could you run back? Keep 
say our, our life's purpose is directly influenced by our childhood. We want to save the world from whatever it is that we were threatened by as a kid. I just wanted to be loved, you know? just wanted to... If, I, if, I, we, if we wind back all the way, I just wanted to find and be loved. Is that too hard to ask? You know? But here's what changed. And what changed was that I wasn't searching to be loved by somebody else. I was looking for someone to show me that I was worth being accepted. That was worth it. Because I hadn't given that 
to myself. I didn't give myself the gift of just saying, hey, Jer, you're fine. So I had to go back. I had to go back to, to learn that I wasn't here to be loved. I wasn't searching to be loved from another woman. I was searching for a woman to show me that I could be loved by me. Accepted. Worthy of love. So, so I went. Was a young gun kid in 1995. Was a young gun kid in 1995. Up. I've never met this guy before in my whole life. We're gonna make it up together and just jam. Yeah. Just improvise. So let's let's introduce everybody to Mr. Jeremy Finley. Mr. Jeremy Finley, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. So how long have you been playing piano, Jeremy? Holy cow. Okay. Well, it's nice because tonight. We get to sit on the, it's not a piano bench tonight, it's a piano couch, and it's very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, 
Good morning, this is life Mama told me, go outside Said I won't be my eyes Was a young gun kid in 
just wanted him. I had had so much anger for him. So much chaos and confusion from him. But I was just a kid and I didn't understand what it was like to be a man with kids. The pressures he faced. I just felt like I finally got it. And when I went back, I had to, I, I realized I had to let him go. I had to forgive him. to learn how to love me, I had to forgive him. Hey, Dad. I don't know where to begin, but... Um, Dad. You just won, Dad. Like, you win. You're complete. You're complete with us. You are a great father to us. You sacrificed so much for me. And, um, <laughs> uh, I am so proud. So proud. To be your son. I love you, Dad. And so my gateway to manhood was in forgiving my father and realizing how much I loved him, seeing what love was for the first time. And by some sort of fate or chance, my wound and my pain thrust me into helping build a movement designed for men to grow up and wake up to the man that they could be because this was my desire. It cracked me open. And for, the, and, for the first time. and for the next five years, I helped build Warrior with mentors and men to lead me and guide me in business, in relationships, with passion, and to ultimately be more me than I could have ever been. And so, of course, at the end of five years, it was time for me to experience the very thing I helped build to crack me open one more time, to face one last crucible. myself. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> but I had to be honest. I had to be honest. I had to tell the truth.
Fucking break down work it over time. I'm gonna fucking break down work all my life. I'm gonna fucking break for reasons unknown.
all my life I'm gonna fucking break down So we have one individual on our team who has, who came here five years ago, five years ago. And he and I have gone to war over and over and over. We have fought with each other. We fought for you. We've dealt with life and we've grown together. He was one of the first believers. And in the next couple weeks, we are excited to support him on his next step as he pursues his music career. The man behind the magic of the movies of Warrior, this will be his final event. And we are excited for his next journey in 2019 to pursue what's in his heart and to chase down a vision and a dream something he'll regret the rest of his life if he doesn't. So we're gonna give Jeremy a few minutes to share with you his final thoughts on the final night of his experience in this chapter with Warrior And so I gave him a hug. Tightly. Whispering into his ear, thank you. A mentor, a brother, Someone who helped me become the man I was. And so I walked forward, slowly, in complete awe, overlooking 1,200 men who I had done life with for the last five years. Smiling faces, smiling eyes. I just stood there in silence drinking in the memories. Smiling, I brought the mic up to my mouth and uttered the last words I would say. My heart has burned for you. For this and it burns for the next chapter I grew up here because my heart isn't the only heart that burns right whose heart burns for life for what you see, for what you feel. If your heart isn't burning, I suggest you do something to get your heart burning about something that matters, because that's when life begins, hands down. Everyone say hi to Jordan. 
Bobby, where are you at? Mama, is that you, Mama? <laughs> Mama, is that you? <laughs> Everyone say hi to Bobby. Hi, Mom. We're all family men. Whether we have children or not, we have families. Yes? We're here for our families, yeah? We are a family, yes? Yeah. Thank you for becoming my family. It's time for me to become one of you. As I pursue something that has burned in me since I was just a teenager. So thank you. Gentlemen, you know what time it is? You know what time it is. Mama is here. Is that you, Mama? And so with one more goodbye and hug, <laughs> I squeezed Garrett to finally I love you. And then everything changed. Something I couldn't have, you know, pain is this crazy currency. Like I'll trade in pain and I'll get something. I'll trade in leaping and risk and, and, and courage. And, you know, sometimes what I get back is pain, but gosh, it does something to you. It did something to me. It broke something in me. It woke something in me. Is it real, baby? I feel no escape. Is
I tap out, baby, it's my time So The bright, meaningless life, a beautiful breath of time. I, I take it all in stride. It feels like I'm falling, flying, laughing, crying. Ten thousand tears, ten thousand joy.
face me Come on and fuck me uh, I've got guy I did Come me Guy I do it I'm with it Bury me in line Open these eyes to a third side Will I die living in it When you're born of night Blood is written in it uh, I give my life I'm wide awake Is it real? So I found it. I searched go, inside of su success. I searched inside of love and sex. And I found it instead right here. In these moments. These are the moments where the art of life occurs the moments of love and of laughter these moments are where the art of life is the strongest where the art of life is the most alive and bright and full i don't but i see you so what i was searching for Merry Christmas. of course how cliche i had it all along but I saw it differently. <laughs> it felt different. Hey, Mama. And it gave me a set of new views to see through. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah. I'm going full proof from it. 
I'll show you! So somehow you're still watching. I have one last question for you. If you were to take a look at your life, all the nuances, the stories, the pain, the love, the beauty, the desire, what would be your art of life? I dare you to find out. Some 